Hi there, I'm Kurt Pear here at NAB 2013 being powered by Banpro, hunting down the best tech for you. And we have possibly come to the king of all the tech this year, well, to Kurt Red Digital Cinema. Uh, well, you know, I happen to own one. Yeah. I, you know, so I might be a little biased. I didn't know you would do in front of the camera, because well, you know, you know, know you're from behind the camera. Which it is, is an odd thing, thing, but here we are. So nice you have you. a lot happening at yeah. your booth this year. Feel free to well, tell me what everything's all, going on. First of all, I want to tell you about Kurt. So I'm excited that not only are you shooting interviews at NAB, you're shooting them on your Epic. Correct. Which is pretty fantastic. Correct. Maybe a little overkill for the NAB. A little bit, interview, but you, know, you got to go all the way. But it, this could go to a big movie screen, which is pretty fantastic. That is fantastic. Um, and I know you shoot sports stuff all the time with your Epic, and you're running all around the world. That's true. You're a student of our education. We appreciate and it's it. It's pretty great. So we appreciate thank it. You, for you know, I have to tell you. Part of your uh, on-site education, your kind of crash course, it yep. is. You have the greatest taste in some of the DPs who've worked here. Uh, yeah, he's got a lot of the shots in our reel, so. so that's why he's... We do appreciate it. You have lots of things happening. We do. The very much anticipated Red Dragon exactly. has finally announced that this NAB. Go ahead and give us some of the specs right, So on it's that. NAB 2013. Correct. We started our company at the show, launched our company at the show in 2006 with a little tent and some stuff we were going to build someday. and. A lot of people laughed at us, but a lot of people said, we really want you to build this. And they put skin in the game, and we went, and we started building these the Red Ones, which then, of course, became the darling of the industry and started shooting movies all around the world. And then we had to up our own game, and we built the Epic and the Scarlet uh, with the 5K sensor in them. And those, of course, now shoot all the biggest movies in the world. I just did a big presentation here about the Wizard of Oz movie. Um, Gorgeous. And we screened it in 3D and all this great stuff here at NAB. Um, you know, and, of course, The Hobbit and... Girl with a Dragon Tattoo, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Just a small film. Small films. movies small nobody films, sees, right. right? But tons of big movies. And there's some amazing ones coming out, like Elysium, which is going to be fantastic. Uh, that Pain and Gain movie, the big Michael Bay one's coming out. looks fantastic. Uh, I'm looking forward Gatsby. to 42. 42 comes out next week, right? So you can see that Red has become, in a fairly short period of time, the dominant force in cinema. Um, and part of that is because we lead, right? As you well know, we do not follow anybody. We are controversial. We're disruptive. We care about our users. We care about who shoots and why. And we don't care about the rules. Everybody else needs to follow the rules that we set up, right? So they're all catching up to where we were about six and a half years ago. I've needed a camera company to you kind of keep approach everything this. the way I do it. Yeah. So I totally understand. So we fit, right? right. And, and there's hundreds of people that I talk to at NAB day in and day out that say, you guys do things so differently. You care about us as people and your customers in a very different way than any other company has. And that's really important to me and everybody else that works here. So that's a little bit of the psychology, right? right. On the technology, even more important than the psychology, this is where we drive. So this is where we lead again, right? So we have the industry leading 5K sensor, which you shoot day in and day out. Right. Who are you gonna beat? Well, you have to beat yourself. So the 6K sensor is now real, so we actually built a manufacturing line. We took our manufacturing line from California. These cameras are built in the United States, which is a really big deal, as you well know. Yep. And we wanted to show that and demonstrate that to the world. So we actually brought a small version of our line that we have in Orange County. And it's yeah, it's right behind us. So you'll it's get some It's unbelievable that you have like a clean room. We have and a full-on clean room, isolation chambers. In NAB. Full-on test and uh, the burn-in, you know, to prove all the stuff, the, the environmental chamber, it's all in there. So people are pretty shocked by that. It's pretty great. It is. Um, it so is. we're updating cameras from 5K to the 6K Dragon right here. Um, and so much more than just 6K. Oh, yeah. I mean, 6K is only part range, of the story. Right? Right. And now, how much more dynamic range are we so going to have? So we know we're looking at at least a few more stops, which is monstrous. Every time you add one more stop, it's a huge leap in technology. The, the Epic 5K, comfortably 13 stops, if you know what you're doing and you get trained like you have and many others have and know how to really find the sweet spot of that camera. We're looking at probably at least three more stops than that on the Dragon. And we're not even done testing, so I won't even give you a number. But somewhere above 16 is very, very realistic. I got to tell you, I'm going to give you a hug. <laughs> right here on camera. Thank yeah. you, because when we go out, it's like we top ourselves. Dave, the camera yeah. operator here, and I work together as a unit a lot. And we look at our footage like, wow, that's the best thing we've ever shot. And then three days later, we look at our footage and go, wow, that's wow, the that's best, best thing we've ever shot. shot. And then right. it just keeps going higher and higher and higher. And well, if you're affording us to even shoot in lower light, yeah. my goodness, our And what's are really exciting trouble. is now you're going to get, you know, because you do a lot of stuff for broadcast, right? Now you're going to start to see the full reason that you've always chosen to shoot high resolution because broadcast as well as the rest of the world is moving out of HD into 4K. So we have our Red Ray player, 
um, which supports that. It's the first player to support all of these 4K panels that are coming to market. I know you're testing and yep. a lot of your clients are yep. saying, so all that stuff you shot for us uh, two years ago for the PGA or NASCAR or whatever it is, we'd love to see that in 4K on this new panel. We just got a Red Ray player. How can we make that happen? You're like, piece of cake. I'll call Ted and we'll start making it happen. And that's, so now you're going to really get to see how that images that you shot over the years with these reds are really going to blossom on yeah, high resolution. Yeah, we've been pushing you. I've it's been on the great. phone, Ted. Yeah, when really can good. we? When can we? And so it's, now it's three. We have, we have people out there asking for it. Yeah. You absolutely can say that. So we now, covered Dragon a little bit, right? We have this beautiful box that I've also been waiting or yeah. right, not a box, the back but a half housing. Of the camera. Yeah, the Meisler module. Everybody's right. been talking about that as well. So the Meisler module is coming. Um, it is a wireless video, wireless audio, wireless time code, full on um, wireless motor control, what we call fizz control, focus iris zoom control for your camera, which is a big deal for single shooter guys like you. Yep. Um, and maybe even a bigger deal, while you're recording your super high res raw files, there's another magazine, a little mini magazine that will record ProRes or DNX or H.264 simultaneously. Oh, waiting for that. So you can hand it off to the client that needs HD today, instantly get it on the air right away, do whatever they need with it, but know that they have the 4K or the 5K for delivering whatever in the 4K world or the cinema world or the finished package world. They're right. gonna do advanced grading and stuff. You want the raw for that. But having that ProRes instantaneously or the DNX instantaneously is a big deal. So I know you're gonna hang one of these on your camera. Oh, absolutely, I'll be first in line. The other thing that I really love about this that we've had clients actually ask about because we've shown your videos that you're playing right. online right. in the learn support section right. uh, is the fact that the video can go wirelessly to a tablet. And yes. people really, right. really, really, really like really that. Really, really big deal. Shows color control, like you can show a client like, okay, well, let's look at the monitor and yeah. I control it with my iPad and stuff that um, is, is really empowering for those kind of clients. You know, say, oh, so I can yeah, do this us, with the file and this with the file right online. Yeah. You have a 17 inch monitor and like 20 people try to crowd around right. that, but a lot of people already own tablets. So if they just show up with the tablet, hey, you know, we can basically give yeah. you the communication so that you can, can talk to the camera. We can deliver wireless and, anywhere yeah, it's and wireless little video tap anywhere and it's all built into the unit. And it's pretty great. Now, the other thing that you guys are doing, because you've, another big announcement in NAB, acquired Element Technica, yes. now Red Elements. Yes. And you stepped into the motor world. Yes. And those will be shipping soon as well? Yes. So they, you know, they build all these ACE accessories for Red and have been ever since. Steve and Hector, the two guys that founded that company, have been good friends of ours since the beginning of Red. Always sort of rounding out the Red experience, right, with really pro-level accessories. So like you said, all the motors, all the base plates, all the the things you hang and put around a camera to make it a usable device, they're the best in the business. So now they work for us and we work for them, which is great. Uh, so symbiotic relationship. Yeah. yeah. So you have one more big surprise. Yeah. Uh, Bob Rose has, uh, I know he's very happy about this, and it's the addition of a global shutter yes. to the Red Epic line. So one the of the, line. the other things that we're showing at NAB for the first time that we've been working on in the dark secret lab for a little while is something we call a motion mount. So think about this as a guy that does what you do for a living. When you have to deal with ND on a cinema style camera, you have to hang glass in front of the lens. That's maybe fine for cinema from a weight standpoint, but you know anything you put in front of your beautiful lens is gonna do some degradation of the image, no matter how good that glass is, right? right? But for you, even more special, because it's weight and size and complexity that you care about. So imagine a day where you could have electronic ND in a mount that looks just like this, it can either be PL or Canon, and you can dial it in tenths of a stop, so you can get really ultra precise, and sort of dial it all the way up to super dark for the bright sunlight, but instantaneously you gotta go in and shoot an interview inside in super low light, strip it all off with a click of a button, not pulling glass out and handing it to your assistant and stuff like that, big deal. In addition, as the bonus, global shutter. So the mount connects into the sensor system, and with a push of a button, you can get rid of all of the um, strobe artifacts and shooting rock concert stuff or anything, you know, for all the different work that you do. Things where even the fastest rolling shutter, which we have in the business that gets very close to film, still you have some issues with strobes or muzzle flashes for guns, for action movies and things like that. Push a button with the global shutter on the motion mount, cured instantly. And that's a big deal. And you don't have to buy a whole new camera. You buy the mount for, I think, $4,500 or something, plop it on, take it off if you don't need it. It's, to me, it's genius. It's probably one of the like 
most hidden because it's just a mount, right? You don't see much. It's like, what's going on over there? So my buddy Justin, who's also one of our key technicians, is showing that off in the back. You can get some shots of that too. And I understand that it's also got an IR filter built yes, in. Yes, so. IR cut built in, so you don't have to add that. So for bright daylight stuff that you do all the time, you're like the perfect guinea pig beta tester for all this stuff. Because <laughs> well, I know then, exactly what you do and you need all of these I things. I do need which is all why of these building. things. That's the problem. Yeah. But, uh, you know, we're taking it. We like to push the envelope. Dave and I like to push the envelope to the next generation. And, and hey, like you said, things that people don't believe we can do with these cameras, we do them right. on a daily and basis. It's, you guys prove it out every day and it's a big part of our world. It's, you know, people think we're all about the big movies, which of course we are. We're all about the big TV series, but we're also all about all this other shooting that people don't think is the most obvious reason to use a cinema camera, right? right. Sports, natural documentary stuff, all this other stuff, which is a huge part of our business and we care a lot about it. So we're doing things to deliver into that world for you. Yeah, folks love the look of the, yeah. the high-end yeah, cameras. Yeah, because you see the movies and you're like, I want that, right? And with the addition of this, those that can't handle the workflow, which I got to be honest, personally, Super it's pretty easy simple. Anyway, right? I'm cutting 5K on my laptop. Right. But, you know, for those who can't do it, I totally understand that bigger companies are kind of rigid and slow to move into something new. Uh, I think this will really, really, really Yeah, help. we'll give them this as like their gateway drug. They'll figure it out. And then you'll say, <laughs> you know, by the way, if you want to work with the raw, let me show you how this works. You open up your laptop and go three clicks and they go, oh, my God. Why are we doing that? And you said, well, well, you can. And then there you have it. And we've done that with other formats. So we're just putting the same business model in with our epics. Ted, I certainly That's appreciate great. your My time pleasure. today here at Reggie. Enjoy it as always. Great, great things. We appreciate it. If you want more information, feel free to contact your Banpo representative for all things Red. They can hook you up. If you want more of the latest in tech here at NAB 2013, don't go anywhere. We're powering our way through the show with Banpro.